Now to a developing story out of Kentucky. Tonight, a fifth person has died after a shooting inside a bank in Louisville. An employee who found out he was going to be fired showed up with a rifle and started shooting. Eight others are injured tonight, and that includes a rookie Louisville police officer on the job for just 10 days. A gunshot hit him in the head. ABC News reporter Lindsay Watts has the latest developments. Murder at a bank in Louisville this morning when an employee arrived with a rifle. The gunshots cutting through the normal sounds of morning rush hour in downtown Louisville. People working at Old National Bank locked themselves in bathrooms. Others reportedly hid inside the vault. Troy Haste ran from the packed conference room where the shooter opened fire. He just started. Uh, he had a long assault rifle and he just started. You hear the, fart, the, the, the shots just start firing. Whoever's next to me we got shot and hit bloods on me from it. Police say officers arrived quickly and killed the gunman, 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon. Within three minutes of being dispatched. Officers arrived on scene and encountered the suspect almost immediately, still firing gun, gunshots. Louisville police identifying the victims, several of them bank employees. Tommy Elliott, 63 years of age. Jim Tut, 64 years of age. Josh Barrett, 40 years of age. And Juliana Farmer, 57. And late tonight, police say Deanna Eckert also died. She was 57 years old. Kentucky's governor, Andy Bashir says he was friends with multiple victims, fighting back tears as he remembered one close friend. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career, helped me become governor, gave me advice on being a good dad. It's one of the people I talk to most in the world and very rarely were we talking about my job. Two Louisville Metro police officers were also shot. One of them, Nicholas Wilt, just graduated from the academy 10 days ago. Police say Officer Wilt was shot in the head, rushing toward the gunfire, that he had brain surgery and is in critical but stable condition tonight.